Yeah. So in all seriousness, so uh, so I was drafted in 2008. I was the first round draft pick. 2007, they had just went 18 and one. They lost the Super Bowl, which yeah. you know it sucks, but it is what it is. Uh, and I was a top 10 draft pick. So I left as a junior. Uh, it was great. I come into an organization where you have Teddy Bruschi, Tom Brady, Randy Moss, all these old guys. And when I say old in football, that's yeah. like 30. 30. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like that's, that, that's all. Yeah, I retired at 29. Yeah. Right? So. So I can't. I come in. Uh, all these guys, superstars. First game as a rookie, Tom Brady tears his ACL. So from my perspective, it's like, yeah, I'm thinking it. I'm going back to the Super Bowl, top ten pick. We're going back to the Super Bowl, right? Tears his ACL. We still win eleven games with Matt Castle. No wow. shots to Matt Castle, but he ain't no Tom, Tom Brady, Brady, right? Yeah. So, yeah. so we uh, we end up having that season. That was rookie of the year. That was rookie of the year that year. Uh, the next year during preseason, uh, I w- so during preseason the coaches picked the captains, mm-hmm. right? So uh, Bill and those guys picked me as the captain. I Bill, was the, who's Bill? Belichick, sorry. Wow. I was the young. <laughs> and you're what, 20, 22, 21? I was like 23 at the time. Or 22, 23. 23 Bill comes and says so you're team pre-season. captain. So it's cool at first, right, until Wait. you realize you're going out to the coin toss and you're the only one out there. So usually That's it's like, hey, we want to if we win the toss, we want to kick the ball. If we lose the toss, we want to defend this goal, right? Yeah. So now usually when I go out there, I'm like, hey, Tom, what did Bill say again? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because I have a little <laughs> bit of a, you know, yeah. obsessive, obsessive Obsessive you had uh, no time. Disorder. I would yeah. just go check the locks all the time on yeah. the door. But now it's like no one I can talk to <laughs> to say, hey, what did Bill say he wanted to do if we didn't, uh, yeah, if yeah. we won the toss? Yeah, like, right. Bill, give me a hand right. signal. Bill, right. a hand signal. And that's his thing. You screw up the coin toss. Well, you can't. No, you can't screw up a coin toss. It's like I'm choosing heads or tails. Yeah, that's but it. how can you screw up the head? But you, but if you screw up the, the receive yeah. or that's what defend, I mean. Like there's oh, yeah. a day the wind is the right direction. Probably Gerard won't be a captain there. during the preseason. Yeah. But during the, you, but during the season, the players pick the captains, right? And that's what really you know. I'm I'm always about the people, right? I'm always about the guys. So it's one thing to be selected as a captain from your coaches. It's another. It's a totally different ball game when you know, your peers select you as a captain. So I was a captain seven out of eight years for the defense, and uh, it was a great time. Do you remember what he said? What was that conversation like? You're, you're 23 going into Bill's office. He's gonna, do you have any idea what he was going to talk to you about? Nope. First of all, going into Bill's office is like nerve wracking, right? You go in Bill's office, he's like one of those uh, yeah. two finger. That's how I feel when he calls like me. <laughs> when he calls me, no, no way. No, no. But he never calls. Yeah, yeah. He never calls. So when the phone rings, I'm like, oh fuck. <laughs> right. Like what? Yeah, yeah, for sure. He's so like, Gerard, we need to talk to the office. <laughs> Seriously, but but you know, when I look back on my career, I, you know, I kind of th- this is how I became captain, at least from my point of view. So we used to do two a days. You got, you're not familiar with two a days, yeah. I'm sure. There's two practices in one day. No. He like he'll like the idea of it though. I like imagine idea. imagine I like you had to thing. come to work twice. Oh, yeah. oh for sure. Let's come to work this. twice, <laughs> and it's, <laughs> it's, it's kind of brutal. Uh-huh. It's kind of brutal. Okay. So so uh, <laughs> every once in a while, I was a rookie. Every once in a while, guys were like, "Man, we can't have full pads today." But no one liked talking to Bill. Yeah. Like I can tell, like your employees like you. Yeah, they, like, they like the both of you guys, right? For the look most deal, part. Look <laughs> look 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 just not. <laughs> yeah, just go like this. Yeah. No, no, no. For the most part. Yeah, So, but but you seem approachable. Yeah, People can go up. Like Bill's not like that. Like people are like no matter seriously. Like no matter who you are, it's like you go talk to Bill. It's kind of like. You know, it's going to be a tough conversation, right? So as a rookie, the guys used to say, you know what, Gerard, we're like, rookie, get in there. Yeah, yeah, rookie. Rookie, yeah. get in there and yeah. ask Bill yeah. if we can get out of pads. Yeah. And my whole mindset was like, first of all, Bill can't whoop my ass, right? So yeah. Bill wanted to – if me and Bill got in a fight, I'm going to beat Bill's ass. <laughs> I knew that in my head, right? You had that. So, yeah, you had I had that. that. Yeah. Secondly, yeah. I'm like, if the worst thing he can say to me is no – doesn't hurt to ask. Yeah. So I would go into Bill's office and he would be in there doing the two finger typing thing, right? Like this, <laughs> with a pencil in his ear. And he's like, yeah. That is how you picture that, him typing. That is, yeah. yeah. Behind the screen. Yeah. Behind, like coach. a Microsoft Surface. How many, no, how no, many, no, surface, no how many, surface. How many yeah. words per minute? He had a how 40 many six, words per minute? Right? He had a 40 <laughs> 20, 20, 20 words a minute for Bill? No. <laughs> On that, on that 486, man, floppy drive. 14. He he's not <laughs> doing anything. <laughs> floppy drive 486. But yeah. listen, so, so I would walk in there and I'm like, Bill. Guys are tired. Like, we can't be in full pads today. You know, nine times out of ten, Bill would be like, get out of here. Like, get out of my office. Like, what are you doing? You're a rookie. Like, get out of here. Right? But one time out of Mm ten, Bill would say, you know what, Gerard, you're right. We're out of pads today. And when I would go back to the locker room, though, I was like a hero. I was like, he, like guys were legit yeah, pick me up. Yeah, captain. Captain. They're like, Gerard yeah. did it. Yeah, yeah. And the next captain. thing you know, He's when captain. the guys knew, like, it wasn't really about me. It was about, like, the rest, of, like, the yeah. greater good. Yeah. That's when guys start to follow you, right? I didn't care. Like, I was out of pads, too. I didn't. Yeah. I, but at the end of the day, I didn't care. I was rookie of the year. I didn't get a trophy. I don't care about a trophy or mm-hmm. even my Super Bowl ring. Like, 
I'll give that to my son. Right? Yeah. I don't care yeah. about that stuff. I try to run away from the past like the plague. Uh, so now it's like, yeah. oh, for sure, for yeah. sure. And that's one thing Bill really taught me there, right? Really? He's always like, change the page. When mm-hmm. I say Bill Belichick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have to change the page, right? So no matter if it's a win or a loss or whatever, hey, we'll look at it. What happened? What went well? What went, went poorly? But at the end of the day, we're on, to, what do you say, on the Cincinnati, the next game. Remember, on yeah. the Cincy. And that's how he really was? That's how he really is. Yeah, that's how he really is. And, um, you know, I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. So if you were, if you approach every day like that, I mean, yeah. think about what you could do. There's so All many right. times you walk you walk into people in the streets and they're like, ah, I remember when I used to play back. And yeah, I'm just like, just like, forget it. It's like, like right. you know what, this conversation is not going anywhere. No, no. We, we actually, one of the interesting people we had on this podcast, she ran uh, people and talent at Netflix for 15 years, Patty McCord. She's, she's, a, she's a beast. And one of the things she said that, that screwed up Netflix as the company grew was that there was this like crop of people that would always like reminisce for the early days. Oh, we used to be able to do this and we used to be able to do that. And so she said like, that's the worst thing you can do is be nostalgic for the past. And so they always have that mindset. Like we even have it here. We had, um, Netflix hit an all time high yesterday on stocks. Though. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> no, but we, we had, we had, um, Mar- March was like the biggest month that we've had and it was big celebration, huge milestone. But then the second that, that clock turned April, everybody's like, we're on to April. Oh, for sure. That's well, what, what is it? We go from hero to zero. Hero to zero. On the first day of the month. Yeah.